Tonight on Before the Bell, it's not about weight limits, it's about no limits, as we take a special look at the event that Impact Wrestling fans are calling the must-see event of the year. AJ Styles is coming back home to the X Division at Destination X. Go behind the scenes with exclusive interviews and hear from the men who will compete on July 10th at the All X Division pay-per-view, Destination X. This might be the last chance I ever get to wrestle AJ Styles one-on-one, -on -one. and I think right now it's a situation where I better put up or shut up. It's not an athletic competition. You're in there for battle. You're fighting for your life. You mess around with me, it might not be there when we're done. I'm bringing everything to Joe, and I just don't know if he's prepared for that this time. I will take you in the ring, and I will beat your ass with whatever I need to. It's uh, our chance to, as I say, put up or shut up, and it's our chance to put up. And, and, and if fans don't uh, uh, dig it, then we can shut up, but I don't think they're going to ask us to shut up. This is perhaps the most important pay-per-view in X Division history. For one night only, maybe we bring back the six-sided ring. Join the stars of Impact Wrestling as we count down to one of the most thrilling, jaw-dropping, death-defying pay-per-view events of the year. Before the bell, Destination X starts now. Why is there a pay-per-view dedicated to the X Division? You know, that's a really good question, and it's one that I think you would probably have to ask the executives at the network, because it was really their mandate that this X Division pay-per-view take place, Destination X. For whatever reason, network executives think that the X Division is an asset to Impact and felt the need to have the pay-per-view. So, you know, life is a compromise. You give a little, you get a little. And in this case, Hulk and I decided to give a little, make some room for it, and go ahead and promote the Destination X pay-per-view. To whom it may concern, whether it's Eric Bischoff, Hulk Hogan, the network, if we're having an all X Division pay-per-view, AJ Styles is coming back home to the X Division at Destination X. I say we give these fans what they want. Let's give them the match they want to see one more time. So at Destination X, let's give them AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, one on one. What? They are perhaps the greatest athletes in the history of the X Division. And at Destination X, they'll meet one on one. For best friends AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels, this is what it all comes down to. I think AJ Styles versus Christopher Daniels is the match to see at Destination X. Not just because we were one of the first matches that caught the world's attention. We were the first two guys that started the buzz about TNA and Impact Wrestling. But we never, we never stayed where we were. We never just rested on our laurels. Uh, something I'm very proud of is always trying to grow, always trying to excel, always trying to improve. And AJ's the same way. We come out here every week and we tell the world that wrestling matters. What better way to prove that point than to put two of the brightest stars in professional wrestling in this ring face to face? This is the match you're gonna wanna see at Destination X. Why? Because I've wrestled Chris, God knows how many times. Chris has wrestled me, God knows how many times. There's gonna be all kinds of things that are gonna happen that, you know, we're gonna have to outsmart each other and that's not an easy thing to do. Uh, we're very good at you know, coming up with new stuff on the spot and adapting to just about anybody. So uh, I see a compelling match when you don't want to miss. After nine plus years in TNA, the match between AJ and Christopher Daniels, Destination X 2011, it's gonna be the best one yet. Each match we have is always the best one. What better opponent than Christopher Daniels for Destination X? I mean, this is what it is all about. I mean, it's about the X Division. And where did we both get our start? The X Division. Will the outcome of the match affect our friendship? <sighs> you know what, if you had asked me that question maybe five years ago, maybe even two years ago, I think the answer might have been yes. But at this point in my career, 
I'm confident in myself. I'm confident in where I'm at. I think win or lose, AJ and I are going to be fine. I think win or lose, Christopher Daniels and I will always be friends. I mean, we're professionals. That's what we do. You're not going to win every match. And the fact that I'm going out there with one of my best friends, you know, how can we come out of this hating each other when it's in the spirit of competition? If you look back at the history of AJ Styles versus Christopher Daniels in TNA, it's been really rare where I've had my hand raised. So I know making this challenge, this might be the last chance I ever get to wrestle AJ Styles one-on-one. -on -one. And I think right now it's a situation where I better put up or shut up. The phenomenal AJ Styles battles Christopher Daniels. Will their friendship survive? Find out at Destination X. Since its inception, these men put it all on the line to forge a legacy. They ushered in a new era in professional wrestling, the X Division. Now, these high-risk athletes take center stage, the X Division Championship, the Ultimate X. Your favorite stars from the past are back and witness the return of the six-sided ring. TNA presents Destination X, live July 10th, only on pay-per-view. He's the former World Heavyweight Champion, Mr. TNA, and undoubtedly, the whole effing show. But at Destination X, Rob Van Dam will step into the ring with his longtime rival, two-time X Division Champion and X Division Pioneer, Jerry Lynn. I was X Division before there was X Division. I Don't you really mean that we were X Division before X Division? I think so. These matches, RVD versus Jerry Lynn, that was X Division before there was an X Division because the inspiration from those matches totally motivated what you're seeing today and what you've seen since then in pro wrestling, and particularly with these guys that go out there in the X Division and do all the high flying and, and, and they're showing off. That's what those matches are about. That's what my whole career has been about. I always feel held back when I can't really go out to the ring and show you what I've got because I have a lot to show. And my fans know that because they've seen me for many years. These matches that I used to have with, uh, with Jerry Lynn many years ago, they, they still continue to, to follow me uh, when I wrestle people, and particularly uh, wrestlers that I haven't wrestled before, like the first time I'll wrestle with somebody, and it could be here, it could be overseas, uh, in Europe or whatever. So many of the wrestlers, when they come up to me, they say, hey, I wanna have a match, you know, like like uh, like you and Jerry Lynn used to do, you know, where we can, you know, start out and really, like, you know, wrestle each other and stuff. It's like, I don't think anybody but RVD and Jerry Lynn can do that stuff. The reason that Jerry Lynn is one of my all-time greatest rivals that I've had in my career is because of the the matches that we consistently had and the lengths that we brought each other to and ourselves to during those matches. Now this was back in a time where we weren't making tons of money. We weren't that wasn't the motivator for this, right? And the first time I wrestled Jerry Lynn, I was at a different status than he was. RVD was up here, who's just Jerry Lynn? Go out there, could have just, you know, like not thought anything of it, but I saw something in him that, that I liked. It was his athleticism, it was his heart, his, uh, his, his determination, his fire, and, and I saw that I was impressed. And I saw that he had something that probably hasn't really been tapped into yet. So the first match that I had with him, we took it out into the crowd. We fought through the stands. We went through at least one, maybe a couple tables. Uh, sweat, blood, chewing tobacco, ripped up outfits, everything. At the end of our first encounter, 20, 30 minutes later, whatever, RVD's victorious. But after that, the people had this hunger that I shared with them. We wanted more. The reason that this match is the match to see at Destination X is because this trend-setting match, this uh, inspiration-giving match that everyone else on the pay-per-view uh, probably watched and, and, and trained 
in, in, in a fashion, you know, to, to emulate what, what they liked about this match, it's gonna happen again. And it's not happening like way down the road when, when we're uh, two old folks, legends doing some, some show, you know, uh, they, it's some convention somewhere, no. No, I mean, you can see RVD. You've seen me wrestle Sabu. Oh, what a match that was. You've seen me wrestle with Abyss. When uh, when I go get a chance to really go, you see why they call me Mr. Pay-Per-View. This match, with all the expectations coming from everybody, and that doesn't just mean the ticket buyers, that means straight up probably to the people that, I don't know, to Thomas Edison, who created the camera and the moving picture. All that going into this, I'm not gonna let anybody down. And it starts with this guy. I gotta impress me, and then everyone else, phew, they're gonna be way impressed. Because when I've seen what I can do, and when I can show off to an extent that I'm impressed and I'm having a good time, phew, believe me, you're seeing what you came for, and that's the whole effing show. Destination X, that's what you're getting. That's what Jerry Lynn's gonna get. It's a rematch 10 years in the making. The whole effing show, Rob Van Dam, battles X Division pioneer Jerry Lynn at Destination X. Since its inception, these men put it all on the line to forge a legacy. They ushered in a new era in professional wrestling, the X Division. Now, these high-risk athletes take center stage, the X Division Championship, the Ultimate X. Your favorite stars from the past are back and witness the return of the six-sided ring. TNA presents Destination X, live July 10th, only on pay-per-view. At Destination X, the X Division Championship will be on the line as the Monster Abyss looks to destroy the X Division once and for all. Facing this modern-day Goliath is Brian Kendrick. Does Kendrick have what it takes to save the X Division? Tonight, I am going to single-handedly wipe out the X Division once and for all. And this is step number one, Taz, in what Bischoff claims will be the total elimination of the X Division from this company. Oh, it was a setup the entire time as Abyss wins the X Division title. What does this mean right here for the future of the whole X Division? The X Division just doesn't matter, and you're the only man that did something about it, brother. Gentlemen, you are the reptilians. We are here to eradicate. If you got something to say, you better say it before I crucify your little ass. Give me the match, Hulkster. That's what I'm saying. You and Kazarian go out there tonight, just beat the hell out of each other, X Division your ass off, and then Abyss can feed off of whatever's left over at Slammiverse. You do get it, you do get it. The X Division champion, Abyss, just takes out both men, Kendrick and Kazarian, who are fighting for the position as the number one contender to his title. Your X Division is dead. And this is now the extreme title. But if you both want a shot at me at Slammiversary and my extreme title, you're on. Oh my god, look, look, Kazarian's got him set up for that crunch. Oh. Oh, instead the roll through. I'm gonna go for the fade to black, but couldn't connect. Instead, it's Kendrick back with the single leg black. God, wow, this is snatching. Snatching and Kendrick on out. top of a weak Kazarian for the pin and he keeps the title. Your winner and still X Division champion, Abyss! The monster Abyss picking up the scraps. Stealing that win right there, man. That, hey, talk about cerebral. That was impressive. He snatched victory right from Kendrick. Snatched my man right out of the ring. The book I've been reading is from an ancient Chinese warrior, Sun Tzu. And you see, Sun Tzu, Sun Tzu strategized about different war philosophies and tactics that one could use in preparation of and during war. In the art of war, Sun Tzu says, when superior attack your enemy, when even fights your enemy, 
But when it's two against one, Sun Tzu says, divide and conquer. As far as the X Division is concerned, think of it like this. Think of Abyss as one really big, hungry son of a bitch, and the X Division as a buffet. People are, are, are quick to think that since Abyss is a, a larger man than myself, that this is some sort of advantage. Uh, I don't know since when speed or intelligence hasn't been considered an advantage. Uh, I'm faster than him. I'm smarter than him. He's bigger than me, so he's slower than me. Sun Tzu made the monster abyss, made me realize that I don't need weapons like Janus, or tax, or glass, or barbed wire, although they are my good friends and allies. But my greatest weapon of all is right here. Sun Tzu has opened my mind. He's got a... a, a... A mind without empathy. Uh, he no sympathy. He he thinks only for profit, uh, for himself, personal gain. It doesn't matter what it takes to get there. He will eat a person's face if that's what it requires, and that's what makes him so dangerous and th so thrilling for me to get a wrestle. I will take you in the ring, and I will beat your ass with whatever I need to, whether it's tacks, glass, barbed wire, tables, chairs, you name it. But now. Thanks to Sun Tzu, he's unlocked the greatest weapon of all, and that being my mind. I believe the fate of the X Division falls on my shoulders. I hate to sound so, I, I, don't, I don't know, self-absorbed to think so, but I think it is important that we capture the belt away from what Abyss is trying to turn it into, the extreme championship. That's not what it's meant to be. Uh, yeah, I guess I would say this is very important for, for, for the future of the X Division. You cannot stop me. You can cut me. You can kick my teeth down my throat. And I will not stop. And you know what, by the way? Those teeth were delicious. <laughs> Brian Kendrick challenges the Monster Abyss for the X Division Championship. Does Kendrick have what it takes to save the X Division? Find out at Destination X. Since its inception, these men put it all on the line to forge a legacy. They ushered in a new era in professional wrestling, the X Division. Now, these high-risk athletes take center stage, the X Division Championship, the Ultimate X. Your favorite stars from the past are back and witness the return of the six-sided ring. TNA presents Destination X, live July 10th, only on pay-per-view. They are two of the greatest X Division champions in history. And at Destination X, they will face off in what is sure to be an epic encounter. A lot of people think that I've taken exception to guys like AJ Styles, guys like Christopher Daniels, guys like Frank Kazarian. It's not that I take exception to them, it's that I take exception to what they do out there. I mean, they had a golden opportunity to give the fans what they wanted, to give the match that people wanted to see at Destination X. I didn't. I didn't come out here to start something you see. I came out here to give you a suggestion. You're right, it's Destination X. It's the X Division. And I can't think of a better match to headline that pay-per-view. Fortune 4. Now what? Fortune 4. Chris Daniels, he chose the low road. I made a comment about it. And his buddy Frank Gazarian, well, he stuck his face in mine. So at Destination X, Let's give him AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, one on one. What? And anytime you do that, anytime that you step up to me, you better believe you started a war. And I will finish that war. It's Destination X, it's all about the X Division. And I mean, what better match could we have than AJ Styles versus Christopher Daniels? I mean, it's in the spirit of competition. Don't Come worry on. about it, man. It's no big I'm not deal. Worry about competition, bro. Yeah. Like, spirit of competition. Now I had no idea 
We filmed the Real Housewives of Fortune on this Joe, set too. Joe, wait, 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 listen, listen, listen. Frankie, look, I, I hope you and the gals can get back on the same yeah. page, but I gotta admit, it does make for some very compelling television. That's funny, compelling television. Yeah, Joe, you know what would be compelling television is if, uh, say, I were to smack you upside that big ass Charlie Brown head of yours. This doesn't concern you, Joe. Oh, so, oh, God, uh, uh. You know, I, I don't really know what Samoa Joe's problem is. You know, recently taking issue with AJ, Chris Daniels, and myself. The thing is, I've known Joe the better part of 10 years. You know, we kind of came up together in Southern California, and you know, he and I have, dare say, have been friends. We've always kind of had a love-hate relationship. But the guy, he has these moments where he's always just a little bit off, and he's just, he's in it for Joe. And to be quite honest, he's just a d sometimes. So whatever Joe's problem is. I don't really know, and I'm not really concerned with it. All I know is that uh, come Destination X, I'm gonna solve it. You know, I'll be honest. Uh, I've uh, I've known Frankie for quite a long time. You know, from uh, day one that I started in this business, you know, it was me and Frank Kazan. We were the top of the tops when it came to Southern California independent wrestlers. You know, uh, as, as I went up through the ranks and I went to Japan, it was Frank Kazarian right there with me, being some of the top Americans ever going to that country. And uh, you know, now TNA, it's no different. I mean, Frank is a tremendous competitor. He's a guy that's gonna give it his all. He's got tons of heart, but heart won't get you so far. You know, desire won't get you so far. I mean, if he gets in the ring with me, if he thinks that he's gonna, you know, just bring heart, desire, and a willingness to win, and he thinks that's what's gonna make him successful, he's sadly mistaken. What are some Ojo's strengths? How much time do we have? I mean, let's be honest, the guy is, on top of being one of the most hard-hitting, just intense individuals anywhere in the professional wrestling business, he's a technician. He can choke you out, he can tap you out, he can knock you out. Samoa Joe is a complete wrestler. And Samoa Joe has, it, when it comes to TNA, been there and done that. Um, the guy is, in one word, scary. You know, when it comes to Destination X, my plan is always the same. CKD, crush, kill, and destroy. Go in that ring, start, and never stop. That's what I do best. That's why people fear me. It's because when you get in the ring with me, it's not a wrestling match. It's not an athletic competition. You're in there for battle. You're fighting for your life. You mess around with me, it might not be there when we're done. Oh, my plan of attack when I face Smojo at Destination X is my plan of attack for every match. It never changes. I always bring 100% of Kaz every time. You know it, and uh, in the TNA audience has only gotten a glimpse of that in the past with Samoa Joe and I specifically. But this time, I'm bringing everything to Joe, and I just don't know if he's prepared for that this time. When you look at a pay per view like Destination X, up and down the card, you have amazing matchups. You have athletes that are willing to do whatever it takes to win. You have guys who are going to go out there and do things that have never been done in the sport. But when it comes to my match, when it comes to me and Frankie Kazarian, I can guarantee you there's no love lost between us. I can guarantee you that we are not friends. I can guarantee you for all the admiration and mutual respect that we have for each other, it won't matter once that bell rings. I am Samoa Joe. I am what this X Division was made to be. And Frankie Kazarian, you will learn. By God, I am pro wrestling. This is the match to see at Destination X because, like I said, Samoa Joe Kazarian, the TNA audience has only really caught a glimpse of this. And, uh, you know, and this dates back, like I said, many, many years. You know, these are, uh, this is a guy I've known the better part of my career, 10 years. Um, and, uh, you know, you're going to see definitely a mix of styles, but you're going to see two warriors and two guys that are loyal to the TNA brand and that have uh, been here and two of the pioneers of the X Division have it out in probably the most intense match on Destination X. The Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe, takes on Kazarian. Since its inception, these men put it all on the line to forge a legacy. They ushered in a new era in professional wrestling, the X Division. Now, 
these high-risk athletes take center stage. The X Division Championship. The Ultimate X. Your favorite stars from the past are back and witness the return of the six-sided ring. TNA presents Destination X, live July 10th, only on pay-per-view. My overall thoughts about the X Division as an entity with an impact, look, let's face it, these primarily are a group of wannabes, never have-beens or never will-bees, all competing for a fantasy, a dream of becoming a real wrestling star. They're too small, they're not strong enough, they're not fast enough, they're not charismatic enough to make it within the upper echelons of Impact Wrestling and they become a world heavyweight champion. So they're trying to create their own division within Impact and you know, whatever, you know. I, mean, I don't care if people have dreams and hopes and goals, but I prefer it not interfere with mine. Make no mistake about it, I think the X Division is a negative for, for Impact and for TNA as a company. The lack of talent, the lack of charisma, the lack of credibility that is inherent among so many of the participants in the X Division, in and of itself makes the entire X Division concept impotent. You know, Destination X, it's the grand homecoming. It's what all the X Division wrestlers in the world look forward to because, I mean, it's the showcase of the most, uh, you know, death-defying, innovative, and, uh, you know, kind of the, the best of the best and the newest of the new in professional wrestling. I think it's very important for the X Division to have their own pay-per-view Destination X, uh, just because it kind of shows that the X Division is one of the strongest points in TNA, um, one of the focal points of the company, and it's a real platform for everybody to show their skills on. They get to be the main events. They get to be the matches that are talked about. Everything that happens in those matches is just so much high risk, and professional wrestling is so high risk as it is, they just take it to another level. Well, as of late, the X Division has really been overlooked and overshadowed on Impact Wrestling. And with so many great athletes, it's time for the X Division to take center stage. I think the Ultimate X is a very unique style of match. Uh, I personally think it's a very good opportunity for myself to outsmart everybody else. But at the same time, it comes with a price, and that price is incredibly high risks. I like the Ultimate X. It accentuates who the X Division stars are. I mean, we're high-flying risk takers uh, who at any point in time could get hurt <laughs> and that career could end. I mean, you never know what's gonna happen. In order to achieve victory, you have to be at your most vulnerable. I mean, you have to be crawling across the wire, completely exposed with a bunch of other crazed lunatics, willing to do whatever it takes to get you off that wire. When you factor in the high wire, the heights, the lengths that these guys have to go to climb up the steel structure and make their way across, to me, Ultimate X, far and away, the most dangerous match in professional wrestling. If anybody was to ever ask me why this is the pay-per-view to see, I mean, quite simply put, I mean, this is the pay-per-view that's gonna highlight all, all that's great in this company. It's guys who are willing to go uh, above and beyond the Call of Duty to get the win, to get the victory. They'll do whatever it takes. Destination X, it's, it's just the most exciting pay-per-view that you could ever watch. That is one of the pay-per-views where everybody, including the crowd, is biting their nails. The athletes that we have, they always seem to step up another level. They always seem to pull out extra moves that they've never done before. You know, there's something for everybody at Destination X if you're a fan of the X Division. Number one, the six-sided ring returns, and I know a lot of people are gonna be happy about that. But then how about the debuts and how about the returns? Gonna be a lot of new X Division competitors that will make their first matches, their debut matches at Destination X. And from what I hear, gonna be some very interesting returns as well. Some former X Division competitors who return at Destination X. The X Division in general will always be special to me because, uh, you know, in, in a way, uh, the X Division style and, and, and what the X Division wrestler represents very much represents me. The X Division has a special place in my heart because I was the first X Division champion, and that means a lot to me. The fact that they gave me this stage to perform on, I, don't, I can't really put it into words how much it means to me. As an original with this company, someone who's been there from really day one, night one, it was the X Division that was the cornerstone. And quite honestly, it was the X Division that was the identity of this organization. X Division, it's what put this company on the map. 
Since its inception, these men put it all on the line to forge a legacy. They ushered in a new era in professional wrestling, the X Division. Now, these high-risk athletes take center stage, the X Division Championship, the Ultimate X. Your favorite stars from the past are back and witness the return of the six-sided ring. TNA presents Destination X, live July 10th, only on pay-per-view.